Salut, c'est Géraldine, bienvenue sur Come in Française TV, sound French, even to the French. Foreigners don't want to be rude, they're just curious. Maybe they only know a few things about France, don't know how to start a conversation and fall back on these few misconceptions and cliches. It's not their fault really, but when you're a French person and meet someone from another country, there are a few questions they always ask and it makes us a bit uncomfortable, so don't do it. I'm going to show you which ones and it's mostly just for fun. Let's dive in. Dieu, l'argent et la politique. Dieu, l'argent et la politique. God, money and politics. The trifecta of topics you shouldn't ask a French person about when you don't really know them. France doesn't really care for God. You're allowed to believe anything you want, but you should mostly keep it to yourself. When talking openly about religion in France is suspicious or makes us vaguely uncomfortable, it would be kind of similar to someone talking openly about their sex life. So do whatever you want, but don't share too much or mention it all the time. Money is not seriously something that French culture doesn't like to talk about. Maybe it's a remnant from l'Ancien Régime, the time when monarchy was there, when la noblesse found it rude to mention money or costs. I don't know. Anyway, flaunting your money is very nouveau riche. Nouveau riche. It's in a bad taste. And it will always be rude to someone. Someone who makes less money will think that you're bragging and condescending and Someone with more money will think you're being childish and those on your level will just find you boring and intrusive, so don't talk about money. Finally, politics. Avoid it most of the time. No one has real faith in the left or the right. We know every position has flaws and we are rarely informed enough to talk about it constructively. Especially avoid anything you might have heard about immigration or racism or no go zones, especially now. It's tiring and it's a complex problem. We already talk too much about it at home to avoid more important problems. And what you might have heard from scaremongering media is not the reality in France. It also includes talking about your thoughts about strikes or wars in France or the social system security. No, we're not on holiday or on strike all the time. And yes, Paris is safe and France in general is safe as well. So don't worry. However, we like to complain a lot about politics between us, but a foreigner needs sometimes to earn the right to join the debate. Sorry, c'est la vie. Tu vis où à Paris? Tu vis où à Paris? Where do you live in Paris? So, France is bigger than you think. It's not a continent in itself, sure, but it doesn't mean that everybody lives in the one city. Most of us, believe it or not, don't even live in Paris. Most of the time we won't mind, but some people with a particular regional pride might feel slighted. Anyway, don't automatically assume we live under Notre Dame. Or even that we all know each other, like, tu connais mon pote Martin, il habite à Nantes? Tu connais mon pote Martin, il habite à Nantes. Do you know my buddy Martin? He lives in Nantes. The answer is probably no. Furthermore, Europe is not one country. I won't know your other buddy Giovanni from Roma either. Finally, most tourist attractions aren't much used by the locals, of course. We don't really go to the Tour Eiffel more than once or twice in a lifetime, and we don't live next to the Chateau de Versailles either. Comment peux-tu rester aussi mince avec tous ces croissants et ces éclairs au chocolat How can you remain so slim with all these croissants and éclairs au chocolat You basically eat them like cookies, no French culture likes good food and we're especially fond of les viennoiseries. Les viennoiseries, like un croissant or un pain au chocolat and other dessert from la boulangerie. However, it might be a French cliché, but most of us don't eat them that regularly. Maybe a croissant at breakfast on the days you have the motivation to go and buy one in the morning, and a dessert as a special treat as well on Sundays, for example. Eating des escargots is also unusual. It does happen, but not more than a couple of times a year for most people. It's not unusual to have never tried les escargots, and les cuisses de grenouille are even more uncommon. 
something you eat once or twice in your life at the town celebration on National Day, for example, but not that often. Even la baguette is very misunderstood. We tend to eat bread for every meal, but we cut it and eat it in pieces alongside the main course and with the cheese, for example. We don't soak it at all in our coffee, for example. Tu connais la maîtresse de ton mari? Tu connais la maîtresse de ton mari? Do you know your husband's mistress? From outside, the French relationships are viewed as particularly free and unbounded. Maybe it comes from famous open couples like Jean-Paul Sartre and Simone de Beauvoir. Maybe. From the times when French philosophy had influenced and popularized words like existentialism or ménage à trois. Well, this time really never got traction outside of some Parisian circles. French relationships are as grounded as they are anywhere else, maybe even more grounded. It's just that we tend to leave God outside of these relationships. And what happens in the relationships is no one's business outside of the people actually involved. We tend not to judge what happens in other people's intimate lives, even presidents' intimate lives. On this subject, yes, we know there's a song that goes Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? It's neither new nor clever and no, I don't want to sleep with you. Tu connais Godard? Tu connais Truffaut? Do you know Godard? Do you know Truffaut? Well, no, I don't, not really, I'm sorry. Some foreigners love French culture, and that's great. I love British culture, I know many, many things about it. But you will quickly know more about some parts of French culture than French people themselves know. Especially older works, or to a younger audience. La Nouvelle Vague, French New Wave, looks more popular outside of France, for example. It's okay, we are proud that you met our famous artists across the years and centuries, but don't be too disappointed that not so many people here have read every book by Emile Zola or Victor Hugo. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's a lot of questions I'm not supposed to ask, Geraldine. So what should I do? What is a fun question for a French person? Well, actually, most of the time, we're not that patriotic anyway. So don't get too hung up on nationality. Instead, try to take an interest in the person as a person. Ask him what he likes, what he's done, why he's here, what he wants to do in his free time, all these kind of things, and stay away from politics. To connect with French people, you can learn more about pop culture, for example. That's very important. Day-to-day -day stuff or popular recent movies. French culture is very well alive, and to talk about works from current year is going to be much more efficient. And Keep an open mind on the differences between passion, your passion, and reality, what people really like in real life. Et toi, are there questions that are frequently asked about your country as well, I'm sure? What's your favorite, funniest one? What is the question about French people you never dare to ask? You can ask me now. Share your experience in French if you dare in the comments below the video. We can all learn from your story. The comments section is the best place to store discussions with the community and ask me questions. So please comment if you like this video or if you have something you want me to talk about. I'll read all the comments, especially yours. If you like this video, share it with your friends on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Pinterest, by email or just talking to your friends about it. Help me spread the word about Commune Française. Merci. Love French, dream of sounding French, even to the French run. How with me, Géraldine, on CommuneFrancaise.com and subscribe to my email updates for exclusive tips on real life in France every Tuesday, plus an exclusive video lesson. Introduce yourself in French. It's free. Merci for watching Commune Française TV. Sound French, even to the French. Allez, salut!